hi all welcome to the second part of the video lecture of the golden age by tamima anam here i shall be explaining you all the character sketches from this novel so let's begin rehana hak the lead protagonist of the novel is a woman named rehana hak the whole story is presented through her point of view rehana is a widowed woman She has two children, Sohel, the eldest son, and Maya, her daughter, the youngest one. Rehana grew up in Calcutta, India, and later moves on to the East Pakistan after marrying to Iqbal Haq. Her native tongue is Urdu, but later she began speaking Bengali in East Pakistan. Rehana's husband, Iqbal Haq, dies at the early age, leaving herself and her children alone. Rehana becomes a helpless mother with no male and financial support her brother in law fez a wealthy man took the custody of her children rehana's children are taken away from her to lahore by fez in 1959 she breaks down through this incident as she does not have any income to bring her children or to fight in the court later she sells everything including her jewelry and her late husband's favorite voxel to bring her children back rehana manages to bring her children back rehana in the beginning worries for her children who gets involved into in the protest and rallies for their country's liberation she herself suffers from identity crisis as bengali and east pakistan were not her roots but with the passage of time she has her own sense of belonging with the concept of bangladesh from being a possessive mother earlier she learns to let her children go in some way and protect them in other way she allows her, her house shona turns into a gorilla headquarter for her son sohil she sends maya to calcutta to become a press writer for the nationalist and allow her son to join a rebel cell near home Rehana met injured major during the war and takes good care of him and gradually falls in love with the major. She becomes an invisible warrior in the liberation war, helps in every possible way for her children and for the country's people. Soil Haq Soil is the eldest son of Rehana and Iqbal Haq. After his father's death, he was taken away to Lahore by his uncle Fez by claiming his guardianship after years when rehana gains her guardianship back she brings sohil and maya back to dhaka west pakistan sohil does his schooling and becomes a university student in dhaka and actively participate in protests and angry rallies he develops feelings for his neighbor's daughter silvi and falls in love with her both shared the same feelings and exchanged letters but their relationship soon ends as silvi's mother arranges a suitor for her a major in the pakistani army later sohil gets deeply involved in the liberation war he becomes patriotic as he loves his nation and bengali language he joins the mukti bahani as a gorilla fighter he convinces his mother to turn the shona into gorilla headquarter maya hak maya is the youngest daughter of rehana and iqbal she is the most rebellious child compared to her elder brother after coming back to dhaka from lahore she becomes a university student in dhaka she gets engaged politically in the liberation war maya also joins the student communist party and donates all of her clothes to the cyclone victims and starts wearing white sarees Maya becomes furious after her friend Shamin's tortured death in the war by the West Pakistani army later she becomes a press writer for the nationalist in Calcutta Maya extremely loves her nation and Bengali language this can be observed when they first receive their own flag she draped it around her shoulder and here we come to the end of this video please do like my channel and hit the subscribe button thank you so much